A question has been posed that puzzles me. Are you a gamer or a collector first? Got it, got to get up there. There, oh, no, a little higher. Yeah, there we go. Hey, 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 uh, there I am, Poppy. <laughs> Thanks, Papa Grande. Do you really wanna make me cry? Okay, Real Talk, a channel that I watch called Retro Ghetto. By the way, I love this dude. I watch this dude all the time. Absolutely check him out in the, down below. I'll leave a thing for his, in the description for his channel. Watch him, cool dude, fun dude. But he did a video, and I know some others have done it since. Maybe he started it, maybe he didn't, but in the video he said that he's starting it, so I'm giving it to him. All the credit. And fellow YouTubers, please get involved. If you're watching this, I'd love for you to respond. Are you a gamer? or a collector first? And this is a question that I feel like is hard to answer because it's such a loaded question because there's so many variables that make me want to say certain things like, well, let's start off and just get into the video. First of all, without video games, I wouldn't be a collector. Yeah, I collect other things, but we're talking specifically about video games in this video. And for me, my nostalgia is so deeply rooted, deeply, deeply rooted in video games that without my extreme love for video games, I wouldn't be collecting at all. And again, this question has so many different ways it can be answered because it almost depends when you ask me because there's times in my life where I'm for sure a collector first and there's times in my life where I'm for sure a gamer first. But like he said in his video, I don't wanna not give you an answer because I feel like that's just finding a way out. So I'm gonna give you an actual answer on maybe all the different times in my life. If I took them all together, did I spend more time being a collector or a gamer? Let's answer it that way. I like that. I just thought it on the spot. Brilliance, my, all my teachers were wrong. I'm not dumb. Well, if we start off in my youth, some people started off collecting things as a kid, toys, different things, media, entertainment, whatever you might have collected, or you played video games, or you did both. For me, my youth, let's go with most of my childhood, was pretty much dominated by playing video games. Yes, I did collect things as many of us did. You know, my parents would buy me tons of Batman toys, tons of Ninja Turtle toys. That was a big part of my childhood, but I would say I definitely put way much more time, energy, and love into playing my video games. So when we're gonna talk about my youth and take a tally, my youth is absolutely gonna be chalked up and we're gonna say, let's go between the ages of an absolute baby to 18 years old, playing video games, that's where my heart was, for sure, 100%. Now let's go on into like my younger adult life, you know, into my 20s, my maybe even my late 20s. I'm 35 now, going on 36. I would say during this time, you know, I definitely swung into the side of being a collector. So when I hit like, maybe like 25 or 24 or so, I got back into retro gaming. I was still gaming at the time, playing things like Call of Duty and all the stuff, you know, we were playing around that time, all the, the Gears of War and the schnitzel schnazzle and Halo. But I barely played those games and then I started getting deep into retro again and I started collecting kind of my first step into collecting and then I started playing these games a little bit. But I would say for that period, like from 20 to 30, even though I started playing those retro games again, my obsession became collecting. And with that, obviously you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I started another show called Retro Liberty, which I deleted the channel around the time we had like 35,000 subscribers. But I had that channel for a few years and yeah, hardcore, hardcore collecting. Collecting was everything to me. I would dare to say that during that period of time, as much as I wanted to say I was a gamer, of course, once a gamer, always a gamer, but I totally fell out of love with playing my retro video games that I was acquiring. Getting things became my obsession. And it's interesting because, which I'll say in a little bit, it wasn't even so much the thrill of the hunt at that time, it was to acquire things just to say that I had them. And when it comes to that side of collecting, I'm not a fan of that side of collecting. I've never been a fan of that mindset that I had during that time. Yes, the thrill of the hunt was fun, but I'd say above the thrill of the hunt, above actual gaming, I just wanted to own physical things that I wanted to own. And sadly, it was almost just to know that I had it and that I got it. Almost like there was no real love behind it, even though there is love behind it because these are things from my childhood, things from my past that I enjoy. 
but it almost was just like you just want to obtain something. This is also around the time social media became more of a huge staple, like a big thing in the world. And it was almost like, yeah, we were all obsessed with like flexing on each other. And sadly, people still live that way. I deleted my social media many years ago. I don't have any of that anymore. But people still live that way. And I feel like that's the mindset I was in. And I almost hate that I had that mindset, especially with something that I love so much as video games. Now, Retro Liberty was a very pure show. Uh, don't get me wrong. We did it during the time when the world is a different place. Cancel culture wasn't a thing. We said what we wanted to say because that's who we are and you loved us or you hated us or you just accepted that that's the way we were. And hey, I might not agree with you guys. You might not agree with us, but hey, back then, what do you know? That was okay. So if we're going through my life, let's say big one up point for gaming in the early days, big one up for collecting during, I'd say the time of my mid younger youth. And now we're gonna jump into 30s and beyond, which is right now. And I'd say right now, in this very moment, this is the tricky one because there's almost not an easy direct answer because the thrill of the hunt is now huge for me. It's absolutely huge. It absolutely outweighs owning video games. The thrill of going out with my friends, being silly. Maybe it's one of those things where as you get older, you know, I'm in my mid thirties to where you realize these things in life, you finally start to understand. And maybe some people understand it younger that the things that are important aren't owning these things. The thing that are important to me is having the fun of going out to get these things, which means, which also leads me to believe that it's not even necessarily about the games, even though I love what I'm collecting, I personally believe that if I was collecting other things and into other things, whatever it may be, I could be almost collecting anything as long as I'm joined with company that I enjoy, my kids, my wife, my family, my friends. That's what makes the thrill of the hunt fun, not these objects that I'm collecting, although great and although fascinating, I don't think it's actually about the items that I'm collecting. And with that said, when we wanna talk about gaming in this modern time that I'm in, I'm absolutely obsessed with beating video games right now. If you watch our YouTube stories or maybe even some of our social media, again, I don't have the social media. Mikey runs all of it. I send him videos and things to say and then he posts it because I've made a decision that I know social media is not healthy for me. And I can say it's probably not healthy for you, but I'm not here to tell you that. I just have this obsession with beating so many old video games. I just this past week have found myself beating, I'd say seven or eight original Nintendo games and arcade games that I thought I would never beat. But I was like, all right, I wanna try them. I wanna beat them. I wanna have fun with my kids watching me. You know, my wife's around when I'm doing it. She's laughing. I play them in the living room. She hears my frustration. I stop when it's time to hang out. I feel like I'm just doing it in such a healthy way. And when I take all of this together, and I try to figure out where I'm at right now, where I'm at in this moment. And if I have to make a decision and take all this stuff together and, and put it into one and go, okay, well, at the end of the day, enough with what you, what you think in this, which one are you first? Which one would be the most devastating change to your life if one of them was taken away? That's the way I'm gonna look at it. And for me, I would say I'm a gamer first. Because yes, I know I said earlier that I'm, it's not about what I'm collecting, it's about those experiences that I'm going out to go collect. But in reality, I'm only a collector because video games came first. I can't necessarily regard that into different things in the world because I'm not collecting a bunch of other things in the world because nothing has ever been as important to me to want to go out and get until it came to video gaming. So when it comes to my life, I'd be far more devastated if the ability to play these video games went away. But in the end, yes, gaming to me is what made me who I am and why I enjoy collecting. So if it weren't for gaming, I wouldn't be enjoying these, going out to find these experiences with my friends and family that I love, the thrill of the hunt, by far more important than the actual aspect of owning these games. But if it weren't for this core of gaming, which I do, all the time I wouldn't be going out and enjoying these experiences. With that, I thought it'd be interesting because this is such a weird conversation because everybody can have a completely different answer on this. So I texted a couple of my buddies and asked them, hey, let me know, are you guys a collector first or are you a gamer first? Simple answers, short answers. Let's see who responded to my text and actually sent us a little clip. Here they go. All right, Riff, I don't like this question, man. Am I a gamer? or a collector first. Uh, I would have said a couple of years ago before YouTube, I was a gamer first. But since YouTube, definitely collector because I don't have the time 
to make videos and play video games, uh, unfortunately. Um, but right now, I am definitely a collector first. But uh, I just keep telling myself I'm just creating a backlog of games for me to play years down the road. So I would say collector right now, but hopefully a gamer in the future. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, and as you see behind me, I don't have a wall of games behind me. Now, a lot of people on YouTube, they have like their collection behind them. I never wanted to be known for my collection though. So when it comes to the question, gamer, collector, what are ya? I'm a gamer first. I happen to have a collection. It's nice to have those options. It's nice to have the ability, digital game online that is gone forever, you can't play it. Well, if you have the game, even if you don't play it up front, at least you have the option to play it. But I'm only gonna get the games I'm ever actually going to play. So for me, personally, and this is all me, not, not anyone else, on my side of things, and I've been buying, selling, and trading games pretty regularly since the mid to late 90s on like Usenet news groups and stuff. I am a gamer first. I happen to have a collection because you never know. So am I a gamer or a collector? Well, honestly, these days, I don't have a whole lot of time for gaming, and when I collect, it's usually just for future videos, so I feel like maybe there's a third category, because most of my time with, with regard to gaming has to do with researching, writing, filming, editing, and putting together, like, trying to present ideas to people in video form, so I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I wish that I had more time to game, and I wish I had... Uh, more space to set up for all the things I have collected, but really nowadays it's more about making videos than either of those things, truthfully. You would ask such a hard question, you sadistic son of a Bitcoin! Ew. But a, a gamer or collector, you know, what camp do we fall in? You know, we love our video games. Um, we love physical media, we love yeah. collecting. But our collection's all killer, no filler. Yes. I'd say we are gamers first. Uh, yes, it's like, oh, we got this crazy game shelf, but this is about yeah, all we this have. This is basically our collection. I think our collection compared to other YouTubers is way smaller. Yeah, you know, we're kind of more into like collecting like little trinkets and things like that. We try only buying games we're going to play. Of all the games we pick up, I and mean, what would you say? We probably flip or sell off like 90%. Yeah, probably. And we go through our collection a lot, and be like, dude, we haven't played this game in six months. Yeah. Let's get rid of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I would say the easy answer for us has got to be gamers first, collectors second. There and you have it. Beer snobs third. Are you a gamer or a collector? Right now I'm collecting tortillas. Happiness. What's up, guys? Jay from the Game Chasers here. Question is, am I a gamer first or a collector first? Hmm, let me think. No, that's actually a very easy question to answer. I am a gamer first through and through. Um, I've been gaming since days of 2600, uh, graduated on up through the ranks, uh, even have a PS5. Um, last thing I played on that, I think, was Bug Snacks. <laughs> I do modern game. I don't just retro game. Common misconception about me that I, I only do retro video games. That is completely untrue. Um, I am a very big trophy hunter. I love my PlayStation. I think I'm sitting on 120 or so platinum trophies. If you guys, modern game, you know what that means. Uh, so yeah, I'm a gamer first. I started, I guess, collecting, quote unquote, um, in the early thousands, around 2003 or so. I had a PS2 and I noticed one day on my shelf that I had zero games because I was just trading everything in. So I actually just stopped trading in games and that's how the collecting began, I guess. Uh, just hanging on to things I was buying. You know, I ran a few tournaments at work, some old school tournaments, NES, Super Nintendo tournaments, stuff like that. So I had had a couple of, of old school games, old school at that point, it was still old school now, I guess. But yeah, no, basically that's kind of how it started. And to answer the question, that was a very long way of saying, gamer first, collector second. Hey everyone, Gary from Rockstar Productions. Riffo wanted to know, do I consider myself to be a gamer or a collector? Well, I will say I am a gamer who only collects that which he will play. I'm Linda the Gamer Girl, and I'm a gamer first. After the Alright, you guys know I'm not going to steer you wrong. In the last video, I talked about this microphone because I thought it was awesome and the company sent it to us and we tell these companies we aren't going to talk about your product if we don't like the product. This company just sent me this chair and as a guy who has a chiropractor, father-in-law, medical industry, everything, and a guy who gets back pain from working hard because I'm a blue collar man, yes, I need a good chair and I'm like, I don't really, I've had chairs sent to me and I didn't care for them, but I'm telling you this chair, this chair feels good. I don't owe them anything. They didn't ask for anything out of this, but armada.com, armadadeals.com, I'll put it in the description below. This is the chair they sent. Good neck support, 
good back support, and it was 99 bucks. They had good colors, I got it, and of course, the Xbox look. As you can imagine, the chair goes up, the chair leans back, and again, I would only be telling you guys if I actually thought this was cool. That's how I do it here. I'm not here to sell you stuff. I'm here to thank companies who are awesome enough to be cool enough to send us a product that I actually like. So with this, I don't feel bad. I'm not schmoozing anybody. This is great. Thank you so much. Beautiful chair, beautiful color scheme. Man, I, the power of a back lumbar support, the power of... Oh, wow. Wasn't ready for that. This is how I want to be buried. If you want to show support to awesome people who support us and help out the community and sending this to other YouTubers that I know, you know what's cool? They sent this to a lot of smaller YouTubers too. That's cool. I love when companies aren't afraid to help out the smaller YouTubers and get them stuff as well that might not only help their, their flow of work, but also help people out with good deals. That's cool stuff. Good people. Thank you, Armada. I'll put your stuff down below even though, even though you didn't ask. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Too nice. Too kind. Wonderful. Thanks for supporting. As always, how else would we end a video than telling you guys that to tell us down below in the comments, are you a gamer first or a collector first? Put this into some real thought. At first, when I watched the video, Retro Ghetto's video, I was like, I got a quick answer. Obviously, I'm a collector. I love the thrill of the hunt. And I was like, no, wait, I'm a gamer first. And I was like, <laughs> took a lot of time for me to make the final decision. So I want to know down below in the comments. Let's see it. Okay, now. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it, gamers ha! or collectors. See what I did? Thanks, Papa Grande.